Hey folks, it's the stereo guy. I'm gonna do a quick project here. Had a request on the fiberglass. Um, normally we would use a wood like this, which is your MDF wood. But because of this project, I just wanna grab some OSB that I had laying around. Two six and a half inch rings. You can cut these, nothing special. They're MDF rings. Um, medium density fiber board. Uh, this is not typical wood to use for speaker boxes, but for the purpose of the video that we're doing, we're just doing a demonstration. You can take us to the next level, but it gives you the basics of how this is gonna work. Uh, this video was requested by Shane's Hobby Shop. He was curious as to how this would work. And I, I think he wants a little different video, but I don't have a car here that I can do the full extreme that he's wanting to see, but this will give him a basic of how this works, and let's get started. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with uh, taking the two boards. As you can see, one up, one down. We're gonna attach these two, just using some uh, everyday drywall screws. Like I said, I'm, uh, I hate to show it this way because of the OSB, and I know a lot of the car other guys are gonna knock me, but that's not what this one's about. This was uh, off my building where we got out the garage. As you can see, there's the OSB right there. I had some scrap laying around, so I said, you know what, let's just grab that for the purpose of demonstration. It'll get the point through. But I highly recommend using either Birch or MDF. That has got very good acoustical properties for audio. So. Guys, don't hate me for using OSB in this video. It was just simply what I had laying around and this box will just sit around for demonstration purposes. So it's not something I'm selling to a customer. It's not something I'm putting in a vehicle that's gonna get used, but it will give people a good idea of how this works and how this process works. So we're first gonna start and I'm gonna have uh, Chip go ahead and zip some screws in the back side there. I hope this is all in frame. Just screw it towards the edge. Okay, and voila, you have a shelf for your house. Ta-da. Okay. Um, let's see if we're still in frame. All right, looks pretty good. So, I'm actually gonna do a ported fiberglass box. So, I'm gonna be cutting another area over here to do the port. And we're gonna install these two rings where they need to go. And it'll give you guys a real good idea of how this works. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, right now, what we've done is we've cut two 45 degree, two by fours, same length. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna pre-drill a hole and attach these into this. And then later, you can come in and pull that screw out once the fiberglass resin's holding everything in place. And this two by four will come up and out that hole. So, in just one second here, and let's pre-drill these right there. Okay. What we've got here, as you can see, where we're pre-drilled, that'll screw into that, and that'll hold that one. There's a lot of other ways to do this. This is just kind of the quickest. And for the sake of showing you how something's done, I figured this would be a good way to just show people a quick way on how it's done and then they can learn from there and take it to the next level. This will give you the basics to give you the basics of how we do this. Okay, now we're going to attach that. So we'll go ahead and put that screw through just a little bit, and then once we know where we're at, we'll line it up with the hole, make sure everything's good. 
Okay. Well, uh, that holds that ring onto that very firmly. You can straighten the ring out if you need to. It can slide once you've got it even in the center. And then what we'll do, I'll walk back here where you can kind of get an ideal. I find personally for wrapping that uh, having this stick out over this edge and this above this edge works best. It makes wrapping a little easier. Uh, if I were gonna do a normal seal box, like let's say like this, uh, I would actually have a template on the bottom so that I know this side is exactly in the same spot on this side. But for the sake of this box, we're actually gonna have a port on this side. So, there's other ways to do this. And I'll, I'll be showing you some of those other ways in future videos. This was just a kind of surprisingly quick uh, request. So, and all I'm doing is playing with my angles to make sure that this is where I want it. Let me make sure we get in the camera a little bit better. There we go. Okay, now you can play with these angles and, and how you want them to come out. Um, as a matter of fact, just by doing that, I found something I like a little better, which is the same thing as putting it here, but I don't get that visual. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Chip come in with two screws through the back. I'm gonna put his first one in there. And then I'm gonna get everything leveled out where I want it. Give me just a second here to grab my triangle. I'm gonna come across this way. Looks good. And come over here this way just a bit. And go ahead and put that one in. Okay. That one is now tied into the box. As you see, I'm gonna flip this around. It's really the same thing we're doing. It just puts everything on the opposite side. But for the sake of our job, it's a lot easier to work from the back side. So I'll get this set up and uh, we'll be right back to you folks. Now I did say I was gonna port this one so that changes up one thing. I've gotta cut one more board. And when you put a port into a box, the biggest mistake I see is that people think, oh yeah, I just drill a hole in my box and I support it. Not really, there's a lot of math to this and science. I had done some pre-calculations for the port that I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed and you'll get to see all this before it gets wrapped and we'll be back. Hey folks, this is the stereo guy back. Uh, we framed her up. Everything's just loosely put here. Well, not loosely, I mean, it's tightened up. Do not use this wood. I cannot say that enough. You know, I'm really, really just doing a quick demonstration for somebody that wanted to see it. So what it is, is this is all about shapes. And this is what you will see when you're going through our videos and you see these really cool looking boxes. This is what it starts out with. I mean, it, it'll have the real deal wood. Uh, this over here, that's to your left is OSB, to your right is MDF. It's the same stuff that we use here on the rings, which is a uh, much less porous material than, you know, that right there, just very poor, it's very poor quality wood. That's uh, what they use for subfloors. But if you ever do this, you're gonna wanna do it all out of this material right here, which is called MDF. Uh, or birch, I definitely recommend birch, but sometimes that's not gonna fit in someone's budget. So, doing a video, uh, Shane Cole said he'd like to see this and maybe how the process works. So just doing some angles, giving you some idea of, you know, how things are literally just kind of slapped together. We got about 10 minutes in slapping this thing together. And uh, you, you just gotta think about what you want and see the visual and then you learn from here and then you go where you wanna go with it. Uh, obviously we're much more advanced than this, but I, I think we gotta take you back and show you how it starts before you can really do it. So what it is, is this is your subwoofer enclosure, and then this is a port leading out for the air. And let's do it. 
Hey folks, uh, okay, we're ready to wrap this thing. Uh, and uh, this was uh, the material sent to me. Uh, what you're looking for in a material when you do this is a lot of fabrics are like this. They, they just won't stretch. This type of fabric won't stretch in one direction, but see, it'll go really far in the other direction. And my friend Shane with uh, Shane's Hobby Shop sent this. He used to make his own dresses. So, uh, damn, Shane, how many dresses did you make, buddy? So, we'll get it wrapped up, and uh, we'll come back and show you guys what this looks like after we wrap it. It's not a hard process, uh, a lot of stretching, stapling, stretching, stapling. And you just follow with the flow. Uh, future videos will cover this a little better. This was literally a quick video uh, thrown together to kind of give you a taste of what we're going to be doing, but on a larger scale. Thanks. Okay, folks, this is what she starts to look like towards the... F I want to say the final stages, but this really is the easy part. And I'm going to take his camera up off here so you can get a little better look at this. And So, as I walk around this, you start to see it actually has a shape to it now. And that shape comes from stretching that fabric around. Stapling it to the wood, again, MDF wood. I pinched this on purpose to show you that this is what happens when you don't stretch it tight. You have these weak dips. They'll require you a lot more work if you don't fix them when you're doing the box. Um, what you have to do is you have to, I say, and I can pinch it and make it look real loose, but uh, you have to, I can't stress enough, make sure this fabric is pulled tight. Now, of course, you're able to save this by pulling this back and stapling it and see how it just takes that right out. But there's your port coming down and around. The next stage will be to put resin on it and get it into a hard shape. And after the hard shape comes the fiberglass, which is your strong stage. Uh, it looks pretty ugly during that stage. Uh, and it's very common. It, it'll go from this looks kind of cool to looking real ugly once you put the resin on it. The resin discolors it and stuff. Then we'll add the fiberglass and it'll just be discolored multiple layers because the fiberglass is actually what adds the strength. If I just put resin on this fabric, it'll still blow apart. It'll be hard, but it'll blow apart. After the fiberglass resin goes on, and then the uh, fiberglass itself, you'll get your real hard shape. At that point, it's functionable or has functionality about it, but then we want to make it look pretty. And that's where the steps of body filler, Bondo, uh, you know, lightweights, Duraglass, things like that will come into play. Then we get it all nice and, you know, perfectly smooth. Then we hit it with a primer and then we paint it like you see in the videos. And these are going to be some of the things you're going to get to see on the channel, how they're done start to finish. And while this may look a little ugly on the side, when this box is done, it'll look like the other ones you see in the videos. Do not use this wood. I probably said that 200 times in this video. This wood, this was a demo. That's all it is. Just to show you how the shaping works, 